Good morning. I'm gonna sail back north today to Portsmouth, the northernmost point of the island. And then uh, a couple of days I'll probably head to the Saints Island between Dominica and Guadeloupe. That's where Keith and Becca are. The Christmas trades are coming, which is really, really strong winds. So in that week, it uh, can, can really sail a lot. And uh, yeah, Christmas is a special time. I like to celebrate it with friends. So I'm gonna meet up with them. Let's go north. Thank you, bye! <laughs> and off we go. What an amazing hospitality here. I'm going to try to take a mini bus today somewhere over there to a traditional Dominica town. Okay, let's figure out how the mini buses work here. So this is the general bus station, but apparently I have to go in that direction, take the bus to Merigo. It should be over there. And apparently the bus goes about once an hour. They just wait until the bus is full. And then uh, it goes. So let's see. Is this to Marigo or next one? You know, Marigo, Marigo. Yeah. Thank you. Is this one going to Marigo? <laughs> this one. So I am at the right place. Just the right bus hasn't arrived yet. Beautiful these mountains here. It's gonna take a while till this bus is full. Let's get something local to eat. I got fresh orange juice for two dollar and grilled bread with salt fish for one dollar. Hmm. Hmm. There's some grates in it, but it's pretty good. Grilled bread with um. Yeah, salty fish. <laughs> arrived in Marigo. It's still uh, 10 kilometers, five miles from here, but there are not a lot of buses because apparently the truck with petrol didn't came in, so there's not a lot, not a lot of fuel on the island. So <laughs> I guess I'm walking. I'm at Trish, Trish? Yeah, Trish, on the bus, and we're she has to go in the same direction to her home. <laughs> and you were saying you're doing freestyle on Instagram? Yes, we do. Big up Imagination Studio underscore seven six seven. You done know? Yeah. Nice. Go check it out. Okay, yeah, <laughs> let's go. She just went in that street to her house. I have to say, people are super friendly here, like really friendly. I'm gonna speed up with my extremely long Dutch legs so that I will be there five miles, almost five miles in time and then in time back to hopefully catch the bus back again. So this is the east side of the island. These are all banana fields. One of the main export products of Dominica are bananas. A couple miles left, walking uphill. Besides bananas, export products of Dominica are aloe vera and coffee and exotic fruits like guava, 
papaya and mango. But for a big part, they also live from tourism. Is it okay if I jump back in too? Is it okay if I jump back in? Thank you. A lot of friends. He's uh, going to enjoy, go somewhere with his friends and I can uh, have a ride for a bit. Nice. All right, well, that was only uh, half a mile, but hey, half a mile less. Okay, a couple more miles to go. This was uh, a bigger mission than I originally had thought. Who would known this, but I've left earlier. <laughs> One more mile down to go, and then we're there. The parking lot. Guess I'm the only one. Hope it's open. This is Kalinago Baran Ut. It's a cultural village and it basically gives you a sense of how the indigenous people used to live and partly still live. There are eight Kalinago communities. Uh, around the, this community, this area, and uh, this is one of the big buildings called a parley? Kabe. Kabe, I'm sorry. Um, and that's being used for gatherings. It's a beautiful construction. I love, I love wooden, wooden roof constructions. Houses were built in construction like this, but then, you know, obviously not with the concrete floor and uh, it was a closure on the side, but this was a roof construction that they used or a roof construction like that over there. Because Dominica has so many mountains, it's one of the islands in the East Caribbean that never has a shortage of drinking water. Unlike other islands like, for example, Cariacou in Grenada that has to uh, have a lot of its drinking water from rainwater. Other fun fact is Dominica is the number three in the world which has the most centenarians. So a centenarian is somebody that um, reached over the age of 100 years old. Normally they're like weaving baskets and doing other things here. This is a, uh, a snacket where they normally sell a locally made food. But right now because of Covid, still, apparently it's quite quiet everywhere. So again, built in a traditional style. It is just a toilet building, however. They use the A-frame a lot. That, uh, that was it. Yeah, let's go back. I hope I can find a ride. I don't want to walk five miles. So all these areas that I'm walking now and have been walking on the way here are part of the community. One of the communities here is called Crayfish River. There's a local shop on the side. Yeah, you can see what they make here and uh, these woven baskets. I'd like to buy something small for a limonada. What should I buy? It's like five EC. It's like I don't know, two dollar. There's a like two or three dollar. Someone's coming. Hello. Bought this little basket. Uh, not sure yet what to do with it. I think it'll be cool for a limonada. I like to support the local community a little if I can. Okay, let's go back. I saw this house on the way here, they're still building it. Isn't this beautiful? Five mini buses in that direction. Zero in my direction. Come on. Beautiful rocks here though. I made it to the bus station. When I left the bus here, they said, yeah, last bus might be going at three back. And the other one said, oh no, no, after five. So now I really didn't know. It's uh, 4.20 now, but uh, there's still other people waiting here, so I think it's going to be all right. <laughs> I made it back just before sunset. I'm leaving Dominica, going on the way to the Saints, an island between Dominica and Guadeloupe, to have Christmas with Keith and Becca. Dominica, I will be back. You are pretty awesome. Uh, and steering and filming doesn't always go together.
where you're in the lee of the island under the protection of the mountains you always know like okay well at least the waves are going to be small and uh, it's likely going to be a lovely ride when you cross between islands you never know I've been looking at the clouds for the past hour or so and all that rain over there seems to be going in that direction so I'm slowing down a little bit in the hope that it passes me a little roly it's quite hard to see on camera but um, I'd say six seven feet waves white caps on about 40 percent of the waves which I would say in the upper 16 17 knot range still a pretty nice day till now uh, the rain seems to pass quite quickly over there so i'm going to speed up a bit The entrance of the saints. We're trying to stay more on the right side because uh, the waves are pushing me to the left. A little bit of rain. Almost there. It's quite deep there, so you have to take a mooring ball, mooring buoy. So now the question is going to be, is there one available? There's no mooring available here, Keith's here, so I have to go to another place. Just dropped anchor, it's a bit miserable here, it's really rolly. Um, yeah, just gonna wait until someone leaves and then uh, take a mooring buoy over there. I'm switching strategies. I'm going to dinghy over and just ask the people if somebody's gonna leave today because then I can uh, move on with my life <laughs> instead of waiting. I asked everyone, no one's gonna leave. So uh, I guess, welcome to high season. I don't think he's waving to me. So this really friendly man from the camera said that actually I am allowed and there is space for one boat to anchor in front of his boat and it's not rolly so let's do that you guys ever wonder how do you stay in shape while sailing well if you pull up a 45 pound anchor three times a day, yeah, that'll help. Let's go back, let's anchor there. So, I don't trust the connection I have with my rope to chain. So I'm gonna add another rope of Keith, which is nice to come and help. And then I have- uh, Take it away from you. <laughs> This is gonna hold me in uh, in the 35 knots of wind. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, this is what I use for my stern anchor on my boat. So a stern right. anchor doesn't take it all the ways. Oh, you should have seen where I was at the last time. So the anchor is over there, pretty close to shore, but the wind is quite consistent here. Got about 250 uh, feet out. Um, so normally you think we'd be pointing in that direction, but I'm pointing opposite. That's what the swell does. We got quite a good distance from the catamaran. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Well by the time you see this video, Christmas has passed. So two other catamarans anchored like over there last night and there's, there's a lot of space but because it's it's so deep you have to have so much scope out because of these weird currents like suddenly like in the night I see all these flash lights and I hear people so I go outside and the camera was so close I had to actually push it away by hand to keep it away from my boat. So they re-anchored. 
and the second catamaran this morning uh, became so close because of you know because of the weird currents and everything so they re anchored too it's a shame you know there is technically space but yeah because of these currents it just doesn't work with more boats here Christmas let's go over to Keith and have Christmas breakfast and then it started to rain so let's wait a second before going to Keith that's from Bozon let's go Merry Christmas, bud. Merry Christmas. Kids, maybe. Christmas, Christmas breakfast. Merry Christmas breakfast. Thank you. Yeah, That's awesome. Juice. <laughs> juice and some. What are we having for uh, breakfast? Drink. Well, this is your m mimosa. This is your morning mimosa, which is uh, meant to be orange juice and champagne, but. Uh, you uh, were uh, classy and got us uh, some uh, sparkling something, <laughs> but it's close. Uh, and so there you go, you get it. It's, your, it's called your it's a mimosa. Sparkling Sauvignon Blanc. Sparkling that Sauvignon was Blanc. the best by far that I could get in uh, Dominica. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas. I'm back at the boat. I'll see them for uh, dinner again. Uh, I've never been in the Christmas trades in the East Caribbean, and I heard it can be pretty nasty the wind it is also looking like it might become pretty nasty the weather cleared up it's sunny again now let's go over to Keith and Becca to have Christmas dinner very different weather than this morning. Come here, come, come here, come here. Now, sit, sit, sit. Good boy, good boy. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Cheers. holidays. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Nope. Well, no. Your boat is too small for Christmas dinner. <laughs> You need a bigger table. The food takes up the whole cockpit. So this is, what is it? Um, we have mac and cheese, mashed mac potatoes. And cheese, mashed potatoes. Stuffing. This is duck, right? Yeah, that's, that's duck. duck. Stuffing. Uh, we made fresh rolls and gravy and like a fig sauce for the duck. Nice. Beets and corn, green is, beans and salad. This is real American. This is all homemade, real American. Yeah, except normally I'd say we have ham instead of duck, but yeah. we're in a French territory, so duck it is. Thanks for the invite. Of course, yeah. Merry Christmas. Help yourself, Hoop. 